Hi guys, uh, happy new year. I don't know when I last filmed or uploaded, so <laughs> happy new year, but it's already June. Um, but uh, you know, some new exciting updates. We have a new camera, which is fun. Um, it's spring cleaning time, which is why my books look like this right now and everything is being decluttered in my house and deep cleaned and it's been great. Anyway, so let's start about content copywriting. Where have I been? Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's just, I've been surviving and now, you know, I feel great, at least to make like content. So anyway, today we're going to talk about the, the tumultuous world of the copywriting industry in 2023. Now, obviously, you know, I think basically like is it still worth it to get into copywriting even though ai and all of these things are happening apologies for also filming half in my kitchen but like we're doing our best out here <laughs> um now here's really my main angle that like i think will just summarize the whole video so i think copywriting is one of those skills that like will always pay off because you're learning how to clearly communicate your thoughts and also basically use persuasive writing and I think no matter what career or life path you choose it's a good skill to have it has come in handy a million times over being able to write well being able to ask for what I want being able to keep the reader in mind as I'm writing things and so in that regard I think copywriting is a great skill to learn um <clears throat> you know you also learn like storytelling all of these things that are just great even social skills to have that make you a wonderful person at parties or out and or have friends or whatever it is right at the same time I'm aware that AI is <clears throat> I don't think it's good but I do see that businesses are relying on it more than they should which in turn is making I think a lot of written content out there not good you know, a lot of content is taking a nosedive and it's clearly written by robots as you read it. Um, so I think it's going to be this interesting stretch of dichotomy of like copywriting and storytelling and like all that is going to become so much more important because the proliferation of the robots at the same time. Is it now the easiest career to get into? Which, honestly, I'm not upset about because I think copywriting needed a really, really big wake-up call. If you follow my channel for a long time, I think there's a lot of gurus out here who are telling people that they can make $10,000 a week, like, working an hour a month, you know, basically, and, like, you just become, like, a millionaire. Just, just snap and become a millionaire, billionaire overnight, work from the beach, you know? And uh, I think it was an industry that needed a gutting in that regard of the hucksters however <laughs> I don't like to see you know people who do this for their career or their work or whatever like be hurt so I think also another just side thought is that these AI tools need people who know how to describe what they need and they want in order to get a result. Like it can't just be like sales page for the tripod I'm using. A tripod. And it's like, so my point is that there's going to have to be people and careers and possibly career openings for people who are copywriters and do what we do. And also know how to describe to the machine what the end result that they want is. So if I was getting into copywriting in this day and age and like this is what I knew I wanted and this is what I like was passionate about I wanted to do with my life I would spend time learning the tools and learning how they work and learning like what they can do. It does save a lot of time with research. I'm not gonna lie I use it a little bit here and there for like researching things because oh boy <laughs> it 
is it fast and helpful? Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, I think if I was getting into it for a career, I would think bigger picture on like the implications of everything that's happening. I would stay on top of current trends because it's hard to keep up with what's happening in this industry. At the same time, you should learn the basics of copywriting because it will make you a better, I don't want to say a better person, but a better communicator. Um, you'll get what you want more in life because I know how to like, you know, all my years of writing copy, now I can write emails where I get what I want. <laughs> Not all the time. That sounds bratty, but like persuasive. Like what does this person care about? What do they want? What do they think about? How can I craft my message in a way that makes them want to give me what I want. So good skill. Still worth it. Sorry for the low energy. I'm I'm getting back into this like filming thing. This is it's very weird to like see yourself when you're back into like talking out loud in a room when <laughs> you haven't done it well and you're a little rusty and a little uh, uh you know sorts. But anyway that's pretty much it. That's my thoughts. How are you guys? How's everybody doing? It's been a minute. I don't even know if YouTube's done a light probably punish my channel for not uploading for like a while now which is fine I've battled the algorithms now for decades <laughs> at this point <laughs> so anyway how are you guys doing how's your summer um uh, my birthday I don't know when I'm gonna upload this but it's this month so happy birthday to me yay <laughs> still a copywriter somehow all these years later I don't know either so that's it guys miss you we're gonna we're gonna get back on the train. I'm promising nothing though of content posting because the ease back into it. But we're getting there. So bye guys.